Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco. No sugar, no filler, just a real whole egg. And I want to make my voice be known about something that's been circulating around the Lego community right now. So this is going to be an unscripted, uncut, unedited video about my thoughts about all of the drama that's going on about the Lego Ambassador Network. So I've been watching lots of people's videos doing their own reactions to all of the drama that's been going on. And I've been in live stream panels and on the chats of people's live streams where people have been talking about LAN themselves. And I think there's been a lot of misinformation that has spiraled out of control. And some people are just saying stuff t to get them clicks and i'm sure someone has what someone has at least seen a video recommended to them about someone that is that has a clickbait title or a clickbait thumbnail what or whatever the case is and like there are people that have overreacted to this, but I just want to take a more calm view about my assessment of what other people are saying. So I think people just have to take a chill pill. I think there are a lot of people who are making very brash, outlandish statements about what's going on with Lang. Obviously, um, if you've been watching enough people's live streams, then you know that people have been talking about some people that have recently been ejected, I guess is the right word, from LAN. And then other people have talked about how other people have been ejected in the past as well. And other people have quit LAN for various reasons. And they've said that they felt happier not being in LAN than being in it. And that's their, that's their thoughts. And I don't claim that to be mine because I'm Mayo, because I'm Mayo Hosco. And as a critical thinker, I'm allowed to have my own thoughts about stuff that goes on in the world around me. So I just wanted to say there's a lot of misinformation going around. Over the past year, I at least have come across a couple people I don't want to name their names because on, honestly, I can't even remember their names. It's just water off a duck's back as far as I go. But I have seen people that literally have a vendetta against Lan. And I think for the most part, those who have a vendetta against people who are in Lan or the Lan division of the Lego group for the most part, don't know what they're talking about. Because if you go and watch videos or you go and read articles from people who do actually know what they're talking about, people who have had experience in LAN and people who have expressed their thoughts from a sober, from a sober point of view and have, and have assessed the facts with a sober state of mind, they can tell you that there are is a lot of stigma that is attached to LAN and people think it is all doom and gloom and that there's only bad stuff that goes on with LAN. But if you actually do your own due diligence, which a lot of people in the world, before they make an opinion, they don't do their due diligence. They just say whatever thing they can think of spur of the moment and then they roll with that as their opinion. While I, on the other hand, I like to, I, I just like to take a step back say, hold on, something deeper must be under the waters of all of this controversy. There has to be a better definitive expl explanation of what the hell is going on around here. And I think people just need to do their own due diligence before they go out on an outlandish opinion. Sometimes we just need to take a step back. We just need, need to think to ourselves, hang on. This controversy, there has to be a reason why it's going on. There has to be a peaceful way that we can talk about all of these issues. And so I think that we all just need to 
take a breather. We need to take a few deep breaths and we have to say stuff about Lan with a more sober analysis, a more sober point of view and a more sober state of mind. Because it is easy to get carried away when we're talking in our videos or we're chatting with people online. It's easy to get to that point where we don't care what we say or we let our emotions get the best of us. But I, on my channel, like to do things with a sober point of view. And I always second guess myself and I think to myself, hang on, am I going to say something that's going to start controversy? Am I going to say, say something that is contributing to the spread of misinformation? Am I going to be saying something that I'll regret later? Or people are going to respond to me saying, Mayo Hosko, you got this wrong, you got, you got that wrong, and we have proof that you got X, Y, and Z, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3... A WGBM wrong and so I, I like to avoid those situations and the way I avoid those situations is by doing my own due diligence. I want to research the facts first. I want to go to verified sources and I want to research the facts because I'm a curious person. I'm a Lego historian as some of you guys might know. And there's a lot of things we can learn from history. And over the past decade, the LEGO online community has become a part of history. And there's been a variety of stuff that people have complained about online over the past decade that I believe could have been avoided if we all just took a step back, took a few deep breaths, calm ourselves down, not let our emotions bottle up inside of us. Just take a deep breath and express our thoughts, beliefs, opinions and views without being drunk on emotion or whatever you like to call it. So I just want to say that I am not against Len. I am not for Len either because I know there is stuff that is that is wrong with the land, but not all of it is wrong. There is both good stuff and there is both bad stuff that land provides for the community. And I don't think it's wrong to be in land. I don't think it's wrong to not to want to be in land. Personally, I don't want to ever join LAN, but I'm not going to stop someone who wants to be in LAN. I'm not going to convince them not to want to join LAN, because if that's their goal, if they have a goal that they want to join LAN, I'm not going to get away, I'm not going to get in the way of someone wanting to pursue their dreams. I don't want to be that person who say, who people can point to and say, you know, this Mayo Hosco guy, this random guy out there crushed my 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 dreams and I'm all sad because he told me not to join land. No, I don't want to be that person. And I'm sure the more respectful people out there don't want to be that person either. And those who people respect their opinions do take a step back. They just calm themselves down. They take a few deep breaths and they do their own research, they go to valid, verified sources, and they can get an informed opinion by themselves without being influenced by other people, and they can come to their own thoughts, opinions, beliefs, and values. Because I don't want to end up looking like a hypocrite. I'm sure most people watching right now don't want to end up looking like a hypocrite. So my advice to everyone watching who wants to form an opinion about LAN or has had an opinion about LAN in the past, to just take a step back, take a few deep breaths and think clearly, blocking out all of the misinformation that has been spread around the community. Because it's not wrong to be in LAN, it's not wrong not to not be in LAN, or, yeah, it's not wrong to be in LAN and it's not wrong to not to want to be in LAN, because that's our own choices, we all have free will, we can come to our own conclusions, but 
I like to do my own due diligence. I like to research the facts because I don't want to end up looking like a hypocrite. And I know that some people out there are going to make total fools of themselves. And that's probably because they didn't think from a sober point of view. They didn't take a deep breath. They didn't step back, take a deep breath and analyze the facts properly by taking a sober point of view and not getting drunk on emotion. So, yeah, those are my thoughts about Len. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. See you. I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you in my next short and I'll see you in my next live stream. Don't forget to check out all of my different social media, etc. links by going to mayohosco.weebly.com. I'm Mayo Hosco and I don't like to be a hypocrite. And if you think I have been in a if you think I have been a hypocrite in the past, let's have a con, let's have an adult conversation and we can work things out together.